Alright, so today's video is all about my favorite nude lip combinations. This video was so hard to put together because I've come to the realization that I have like 50 favorite nude lipsticks and um, I tried to get together just 10 different combinations so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. If you'd like a part two, if you'd like a part two with gloss featured, let me know because of course I have my favorite glosses. But just to make sure this video didn't get too long and chatty and rambly and all of those things that I love to do so much, <laughs> I decided to just keep it to 10. So I'm going to be sharing my top 10 favorite nude lip combinations including lip liners and lipsticks. I'm really surprised that I only have three liquid lipsticks. I've almost completely transferred back over to Bola lipsticks. They're just my favorite, although I am wearing liquid lipstick right now. Before I start chatting your ear off, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And let's go, <laughs> let's get started. All right, so leading the pack here, we have the House Labs Rip Lip Liner in On Point. This has been one of my favorite lip liners since they launched. And pairing on top of it, I went in with Charlotte Tilbury's Hepburn Honey. This lip liner is one of my favorite formulas. I absolutely love this shade. It's my perfect nude. Obviously all the shades that I'm gonna show you in this video are mostly light nude shades uh, that I think look really great with my complexion and my um, undertones, my skin tone is kind of like a light medium when I have self tanner on. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna be purchasing any of these, you can always you know, change up your lip combination. You could get a darker lip liner and just pop a lighter nude lipstick on the center. But just keep that in mind if you're shopping for yourself, your skin tone, and what nudes you tend to gravitate towards because I definitely go for like a light nude for the most part. Hepburn Honey is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I'm gonna say favorite throughout this whole video. I already can feel it in my bones. It's super beigey, like almost no undertone in my opinion. It's just a very neutral, like light brown nude. I love it so much. So next up I have Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, the uh, lip cheat, which is their lip liner. And instead of pairing it with the Pillow Talk lipstick, which I also love, I'm going in with Bitch Perfect by Charlotte Tilbury. I just think this lipstick is perfect. Like the name is perfect. It's Bitch Perfect. <laughs> it's a pinky nude. I really love these two together. I feel like they're my lips but better kind of color. And Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are some of my favorite of all time. They're so smooth, so soft. They don't make your lips feel cakey or dry or anything. They're very hydrating and they're just some of my favorites of all time. Next, I'm starting off with Always and Forever by Kylie. Kylie has some of my favorite lip pencils ever. They're so creamy and smooth and soft and they're just so easy to use because of how creamy they are. And this shade right here is a new favorite. I got it not that long ago. And it's become one that I use almost every single day. I just love the natural look of that one. And then I go over top of it with Peep Show by Pat McGrath, which is a super light pinky, I wanna say peachy nude. It's quickly become one of my favorite lipsticks ever. I love Pat McGrath's lipstick formula. And Peep Show is the lightest, if I'm not mistaken, lipstick that Pat McGrath makes. So this one works really, really well for me. I also like to pop it just over the center if I have a little bit of a darker lip situation going on and it just makes the lip pop, which I really like. Next up is by Patrick Ta. This is the Precision Lip Crayon in the shade She's Strong. These lip crayons are so unique. The way that they're shaped is like, almost like an eyebrow definer like the eyebrow definer from Anastasia. So it's definitely a little bit of a learning curve to use this on your lips. It's very different, but I do find myself enjoying it. I also love the color, obviously. And to top it off, I went in with the Monochrome Moment Silky Lip Cream in She Is Independent, also by Patrick Ta. I love this formula so much. The only negative I can say about it is that it's mint scented, which is not my favorite. But once it dries down, you can't really tell anymore and it's just a beautiful nude. Next up is the lip combo that I'm wearing right now. So I started off with the Makeup Forever pencil, artist pencil, and Anywhere Caffeine. This has to be my favorite pencil from them. It's so gorgeous. It works as a lip liner. It works as an eyeliner. I really like to wear it as an eyeliner sometimes when it's like a super natural day and it makes blue eyes pop. And over top, I went in with Dose of Colors Catching Feelings Liquid Matte Lipstick. Because it is a liquid matte, I would recommend wearing a lip balm underneath so that it's not too drying. It does definitely not feel the same as 
a bullet lipstick that is super smooth and hydrating. It is a little bit more drying. And then in the center, I went in with Let's Cuddle, also from Dose of Colors, just to lighten it up. I really like adding just a little something on the center of the lip to make it a little bit lighter. And I just like the tiny like ombre moment that I have going on with it. Next is a little bit more of a peachy moment. I went in with Nude 0.5 Lip Liner from KKW Beauty. I absolutely love the formula of her lip liners as well. I feel like hers and Kylie's are pretty similar. Um, this one is pretty much exactly my lip shade. It's not like my lips but better, but it's like exactly my lip shade. So I went in first with that, and then I went over top with Kylie's lipstick in Butterscotch. Butterscotch is a super peachy light nude. I love this one so much, and her formula is very, very creamy. It has to be like one of the creamiest lip formulas ever. All right, next up I did another Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat. This one is in Iconic Nude, another super favorite. I love this lip liner so much, it's the perfect brown nude and over top i went in with my fenty aren't these called like matte moselle matte moselle mademoiselle you know what i'm trying to say this is in the shade up to no good and i am obsessed with this shade i love pairing it with another shade from fenty that's more of an orange tone it's called pumpkin rose i believe and it's so so gorgeous if you love an orange lip but we're not here to talk about orange we're here to talk about nude so i i'm using up to no good this formula i do find to be quite drying and like crackly on the lips so i would definitely recommend pairing with a lip balm underneath beforehand all right next a little bit more of an affordable option is ColourPop. so this is the ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade bff and over top i went in with the ColourPop lippy sticks in the shade cookie i love the scent of these oh my goodness i could just eat it it smells like cookies. It's like vanilla cake or something. It just smells so good. And these are also super creamy, super affordable, and I love, love, love this shade. We're already nearing the end here. So next up is KKW Beauty, and this shade is 90s Supermodel. So cute. I love the 90s line that she did. And over top, I went in with one of my most unique lipstick shades that I love so much. Is from Melt, and this one's called Voyeur. I just find the shade to be super unique, kind of like a grayish, and I really, really love it. I think it looks really cool. Love to pair it with the smoky eye, kind of like I have on today, although I'm not wearing that lipstick now. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, this is probably my most asked about lip combination whenever I wear it. I get so many DMs. What's on your lips? What lipstick are you wearing? And it's usually this one right here. So this is, the Kylie Cosmetics collab with Coco, uh, Khloe Kardashian, I don't know why I said Coco, even though it's on here. This is Handbag Ho. So both the lip liner and the liquid lipstick from the Handbag Ho lip kit. I think what I enjoy most about this lip combination is how deep you can make the lip liner because it is way darker than the lipstick and how there's different things that you can do with it. So you can make it super dark and just put a tiny bit of lipstick over top and pat it around, or you can do what I do, which is just line pretty simply and then put a lot of lipstick over top to kind of give it that more peachy vibe that the lipstick just, the lipstick is so peachy. I just love, love, love the peachiness of it all. And the lip liner is so gorgeous as well. So those are like my top 10 favorite, I was gonna say nip lewd combinations. Great, that's a great um, way to finish this video off. Um, it is nighttime by now. What time is it? It's 8 p.m. I should really quit filming this video by now. Um, those are my top 10 nude lip combinations that I'm just obsessed with right now. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I could definitely do a part two or I could do gloss. I could do red lipsticks. What do you guys want to see? You let me know and I will get on it. I hope you enjoyed. And I really just like flew through those, didn't I? This video is not very long, but um, I hope you still enjoyed. Again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Why do you drive?